वेलकम टू योर ओन चैनल ऑफ राइट फंडा नॉन यूनिफॉर्मली चार्ज रिंग लेट्स रीड द क्वेश्चन ए रिंग ऑफ रेडियस कैपिटल आर इज प्लेस्ड इन ए एक्स वाई प्लेन विथ सेंटर एट द ओरिजिन द रिंग इज नॉन यूनिफॉर्मली चार्ज इन सच ए वे दैट द लीनियर चार्ज डेंसिटी वेरीज विच एंगल मेजर फ्रॉम द एक्स एक्सिस इन एंटी क्लॉक वाइज डिरेक्शन एच लामडा इज इक्वल लामडा नॉट इन टू कॉस थीटा दिस इज द फंक्शन गिवन लामडा इज इक्वल लामडा नॉट इन टू कॉस थीटा कुलम पर मीटर वेयर लामडा इज द पॉजिटिव कॉन्स्टेंट फाइंड द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड एंड पोटेंशियल एट द ऑरिजिन हाउ टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन so the question is saying that you have to measure the angle from this theta angle has to be measured from this and here the function is given something the lambda is equal to lambda not into cos theta so if you see this is a cosine function is there in the cosine function if you see for first quadrant 0 to 90 degree is positive in the second quadrant 90 to 180 it is negative again here it will be negative will be there 180 to Is 270 and 270 to again fourth quadrant cos function will be positive as well. So if we see this one, then we can put the charge that will be that has been arranged is of this sign. Sign only I'll be writing. Then the signs are like this. Uh, this will be positive, 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 and here it will be negative, 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 negative will be there. Again here it will be negative will be there. Of course, the density will be different. Different. I am only pointing out the sign for the time being. So this way, charge has been arranged. And for this type of charge distribution, we need to calculate the field number one and second the potential at the origin of the coordinate system. This here at the center of the ring, we need to find the uh, field function. So uh, what you need to do that we can go here. And take a small element, and its field we can calculate, and that field we need to integrate over the whole thing. Then we can get the result directly. We can get the result. But uh, if it is little bit symmetry, we want to see the symmetry. We want to see. So if I extend the line like this, and I make a similar line here. Suppose this angle is theta. This angle is also theta. This angle is theta. Similar angle is given. So for a particular angle, theta is given. Then you see whatever the value of the lambda here, whatever the value of the lambda is there, that is equal to lambda not cos theta. The same will be the value here. Of course, the negative sign. And whatever the value here, the here also lambda value will be same. Here also lambda value will be same. Why? Because we know that whatever the cos theta value is there, cos of 180 minus theta also same thing with an up negative sign. 180 plus theta, cos of 180 plus theta also is the cos theta, the same value, but the negative sign of course. And the fourth quadrant, cos of 2 pi minus theta is equal to cos theta with the positive sign. So these values are same. So this charge particle, this positive charge particle will produce, this positive charge particle will produce a field in this direction like this, away from this. And this negative charge particle, this one, this negative charge particle will produce a field towards it. Value and this positive charge will again produce a field like this, and this negative charge will produce a field like this. So there are two two fields at the end. So basically, the charge, the field due to this, this field due to this, I give the name of E one. Suppose I give the name of E one to this. So I can write E one the due to one value is nothing but k d q by r square. I have considered the charge of d q here. If I consider the charge of dQ, so this will be equal to dQ charge like this. Similarly, everything will be like this. So this added together, you get 2k dQ by r square, and this will be equal to 2k dQ by r square. The two arrows are there, and they are resulted. If you see the symmetry, you see this component. When they resolve into two components, the y component will be cancelled out. Only there will be x component will be there. So net field at that point, net field. At this point O will be equal to for this cos theta and this cos theta will be there twice of 2k dQ by r square that is the E1 into cosine of the angle. So this is my DE for the, these four elements. These four elements I will be taking this one. These four elements. 
So if I integrate like this from right now, I have to integrate the electric field. I'll get the total electric field I can get. The electric field net can be calculated by integrating this factor. So this is equal to 4 k by r square. I can take out the integration. And what I remain here is equal to dq into cos theta. And right now, I have to integrate from here, here to here integrate, then correspondingly, another four element will come. When I go from this element, this has already taken considered. This also considered. So, when I go from here to here, I will consider all the element will be automatically considered. So, this I need to integrate from 0 to pi by 2. I might not have done this also. I could have taken small element and I could have integrated for all the 0 to 2 pi also. I could have integrated and x component, y component, both I could have separately have to integrate it, but anyhow to see that y component get cancelled we have pro taken the approach this one the y component cancel we need to integrate y component only x component will contribute to the net field that's how we have done like this so right now as you have taken already the counterparts we have taken so that's how we are integrating from 0 to pi by 2 and what is dq if you see the lambda is the charge but the lambda into this length lambda into dl and what is this this is equal to d theta i will take then this length equal to r d theta so in place of dq I can write 4 pi r square into lambda into r d theta is the dq charge into cos theta. And we will see lambda value will substitute the value of lambda. Then this is equal to 4 k by r square integration of lambda naught cos theta r d theta into cos theta from 0 to pi by 2. So again, whatever thing has been constant, we can take this one 4 k lambda naught and 1 r get cancelled. This r, this is the r square say. And this here, we remain with the cos square theta d theta from 0 to pi by 2. If we integrate this, we will be getting the value of E can be calculated easily. So, this values can be calculated like this, we know all of us know, we can calculate the integration of cos square theta and to integrate cos theta, cos square theta, what we do, we convert this into cos 2 theta, so is equal to cos 2 theta plus 1 by cos 2 theta plus 1 by 2 into d theta, this integration to be carried out. So, this I can write the equations to be equal to 2, I can take outside and I can write 2 k lambda naught by r and this integration I will be doing the cos 2 theta d theta plus integration of d theta from 0 to pi by 2, 0 to pi by 2. So, if you integrate and put the values, this will be to sin 2 theta by 2 and integration will put this will be coming out to be 0, d theta integral theta, I put the pi by 2. So, this comes with 2 k lambda naught by by r into pi by 2. So, this is our answer is there. And if somebody want to put the values of uh, k 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught, 1 by 4 pi epsilon, I will put 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught lambda naught by r into pi. If I want to put then pi pi get cancelled and the net electric field that we obtain will be equal to lambda naught by 4 epsilon naught into r lambda naught by 4 epsilon naught r and of course we have seen the directions of this field in this particular case if the net field is of this component this component net field is in this direction so net field we see that will be equal to in minus i cap direction in this case wherever we take a zero axis positive is taken so this is my net electric field due to this type of charge distribution in a ring that has been arranged now the question second part is saying that find the electric field and second part is saying that find the potential at the origin. If you see the potential at the origin, uh, we can calculate by integration method also. I can take the small kilo, dv, I can take dv is equal to k dq by r and I can integrate. And now I need to consider direction to the scalar quantity there. I can integrate this one and integrate also you will get the value, same value you will get. But you will check, no need to integrate because whatever potential this will produce, similar potential this negative charge will produce. Whatever position this positive charge will produce, same so this four pair, four pair, this is net potential will be zero. Similarly, all the points you will take, there will be counterpoints, counterparts, four points will be there, and all pairwise they will be cancelling out. So 
net potential will be equal to 0 at the horizon. So, we got the answer that net potential will be 0 and net electric field E is equal to E vector is equal to lambda by 4 epsilon naught 4 epsilon naught r minus i capital x so there are two answers we got potential equal net potential is 0 and electric field equal lambda naught by 4 epsilon naught into r where lambda is the peak electric linear charge density on the center of the ring so we solve this question